Greetings, my fellow beings. My name is Amanda, and today we are going to be talking about caregiver burnout. So caregiver burnout is when someone has become overwhelmed and is physically, emotionally, and mentally exhausted from caring for someone else. And they may feel alone, unsupported, or underappreciated. And they are in a constant state of physical, mental, and emotional exhaustion. And it may be accompanied by a change from positive to negative feelings about the person that they are caring about. Burnout can occur anytime someone does not get the care or doesn't get the help that they need, or if they're doing more than they can possibly do by themselves. And the thing is, is that caregiver burnout is extremely common and almost every caregiver has a burnout at some point. So the symptoms or warning signs of caregiver burnout include things such as withdrawal from friends and family and other loved ones, loss of interest in activities previously enjoyed, feeling blue, irritable, hopeless, or helpless, changes in appetite, weight, or both, changes in sleep patterns, getting sick more often, feelings of wanting to hurt yourself or the person for whom you're caring, emotional and physical exhaustion, and irritability. There are a lot of things that could cause caregiver burnout. And some of those things can be things such as role confusion, because most people are extremely confused when they are thrust into the role of a caregiver. And it can be difficult to separate their roles as caregivers from their roles as being spouses, children, lovers, friends, or other close relationships. There are also unrealistic expectations. Many caregivers expect that their love and compassion towards that person is going to change that person and make them healthier. And this may be extremely unrealistic with people that have progressive illnesses such as Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. There's also a lack of control. A lot of caregivers get very frustrated by a lack of control over money, resources, skills to effectively plan and manage their loved one's care. And the thing is, is that a lot of caregivers don't even realize that they're going through burnout. And eventually they get to the point where they cannot function normally at all, and they may even become sick themselves. So how to prevent caregiver burnout? Find someone you trust, and that could be a friend, that could be a family member, that could be someone in your church, that could be a, a psychiatrist. Find someone that you can trust to be able to talk to. And with this person you trust, talk about your feelings and frustrations. Set realistic goals. Realize that you may need help with some of the caregiver tasks that you have. And there are also local organizations that can help take some of the burden off of you. Take advantage of respite care services. And I'm going to link down below different uh, resources that you can have to get those services to get the respite that you need um, from caregiving. Be realistic about your loved one's illness. And there may be a time that that person needs more services such as in-home in-home caregiving, nursing services, or even going to a nursing home. Remember to not forget about yourself. Taking care of yourself is not a luxury. It is a, ne a necessity and you need to be able to take care of yourself because you cannot care for someone else if you don't take care of yourself first. Know your limits and be truthful to yourself about your limitations and realize that it is possible for you to get caregiver burnout. Make sure to educate yourself. The more you know about the illness, the more resources that you have in order to care for that person. Stay healthy, remember to eat right, and exercise. Those are two very important things while caring for someone. And make sure to join a caregiver support group. It is really important for you to have others that can help you in this situation. So the question is, is how can you recover from caregiver burnout if you're already experiencing it? So make sure that you ask others for help. It is important for you to be able to rely on someone else for caregiving necessity. Get support, join a support group, find different ways to get support. That could be through family, friends, that could be a support group, that could be a therapist, but get support from others. Remember to take regular breaks. It is important for you to remember that you need to take care of yourself because you cannot take care of another person if you do not take care of yourself first. Pay attention to your feelings and needs. It is really easy to forget about your own needs and not take care of yourself. Make sure that you have a good sleep schedule. 
If you get enough rest, then that can also help you with caregiver burnout as well. And also consider respite care. This is a form of service where someone can take care of your loved one for you for a little bit of time, and that could be for a couple of hours, that could be for a couple of days, where someone else takes care of your loved one so that you can get the rest and relaxation that you need to be able to recover. And there are other resources out there, and I'm gonna link all of them in the description box below for you to find those resources. But other support things that you can find are things such as home health services, adult daycare, nursing homes or assisted living facilities, private care aids, caregiver support services, agency, agency of aging, and national organ, organizations. So those are all kinds of agencies that can help you with taking care of your loved one. Caregiver burnout is a real thing that really does affect almost everyone that is a caregiver at some point during their time as a caregiver. So please have compassion for them. Remember that they are also important, that they need to have the compassion and care that they deserve for caring for another person. If you are going through caregiver burnout, my heart truly goes out to you and I know that it is hard, but know that you are important and you deserve to have rest and to get the support that you need. This was just a quick video on caregiver burnout and I just wanted you guys to know that it is a real thing and that it does happen. If you learned something new or you enjoyed this video, make sure that you click that subscribe button and make sure you click that like button if you did enjoy this video. Remember to be kind, kindness is free, so give it out to everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi. I'm in the middle of recording right now. You have to at least say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. It's me, Winston. Is the tree up and you're happy? Yeah. Okay. I gotta finish recording. Thank you.